today I'll be sharing to you ano, new beginnings, no? This uh, this topic, new beginnings, especially uh, that is it's during the pandemic where everything is stagnant, feeling that stagnant, where everything we feel like everything is quite dull, you know. And it why it's always good to start something, anything actually. So before I begin, yeah, what does new beginnings look like for you, or even for me? So I'll give you like a minute to think. Minute to think. Oops, sorry. A minute to think what new beginnings look like for you. Yeah. So the minute starts now. Then after that, I'll ask uh, one or two people to share their insights. So go. If kanang less than a minute mo makathink and you want to share, please open your mic blanket to do so. Ko ano man no like first yeah. thing mo to say mo mind yes okay very good anything for me kay kung mo ka kung tag like new beginning ako yung masing kay kanang pinaka early sa day kana when you wake up and then that's a new beginning and kanang when every time I wake up mang good kay motanaw ko sa gawas kay ko ano lang mara gusto lang ako if feel ang um, pagkabuntag oh. <laughs> pero kanang ano lang bitaw murag take a pause lang and then ay ako mag-start sa konde so kana siya nga moment which kanang siguro lahi lahi for others pero kana nga moment that's my feeling of a new beginning wow thank you so much ate Mia <laughs> sige so mag-call ko lahi na sad kay para ka ating niya is ka ng high, ang iyang new beginning for siya kay ka sa morning. So, tawagan ako akong brother, si Maverick. Sige, Maverick. What does new beginning look like to you? An, a new promise or a new commitment being made. Wow. Ang daw, again? Ang sa, ang sa? na new promise na imong ginado or kanang commitment na ah. new beginning ah okay so commitment para sa iya ha ang new beginning is like somewhat a commitment ganun sige so thank you tayo sa pag-share guys so for me naman the word new like especially during pre pandemic times the word new has a positive connotation to it for me huh like when let's say new hairstyle new bag new um new gadget diba ang word na new sa una ka exciting ki pamina when kay bago biya bago so it's either nakagipalit bago or na ay gihatag sa imo na bago so na shape positive na connotation to it However, in these recent times, the word new paired by another word became somewhat a negative connotation. Na siya negative na ring to it. Na siya ay pagkahadlok paminawon. Nga no ka? Unsa ka na na word, no? What do you think is that word? New and then uh, paired by another word. Be? And for me, And I, I think kamu pa na feel na ninyo. That word is the new normal. Diba? 
now na na nakaduhog ta na, na word new normal feeling ang ang ato ding mapunta sa tong head kay pandemic lockdown M M E C Q E C Q nara sa balay online class the new normal has a negative connotation to it na siya negative ring but what happened na ang word bia na new kay na siya positive na connotation na siya more exciting Diba, baffling kayo ang word na new normal. Personally, for me, na baffled kay Kokai. New normal ang sama na. Normal na gani, bago pa? Or nabago ang pagka-normal? So, yeah, muna siya. Um, muna kong feeling. So, very start sa pandemic. And I heard, the first time I heard the word new normal. And the new normal, for me, changed my life 180 degrees. Diba? Na-transform akong life 180 degrees. In what ways? In what ways, man? I'm sure kamo po na-transform in yung lives. Maybe 360 degrees or 180 degrees. Pero para sa ako, na-transform siya 180 degrees. And mas na-highlight siya aning four aspects. Si school, si personal lives, extracurricular activities, o gang church. First, ang school. What does the new normal look like for me now? Na school. Um, I graduated senior high school. In in this na magmarch me, kay nagmarch na lang ko sa mong sala. <laughs> nagmarch na lang ko sa mong sala. Ana, um, aside from that, before kay magcommute ka di ba from your house to school. Karon ang akong travel distance na lang kay room to table to CR to kitchen to balik ng sa room. Kana na lang ang travel distance. And what was once the four corners of my classroom became the four corners of my house. And what was once na ang akong classmates na akong kauban mga almost my entire day for set, uh, five days, right? five or six days a week became my family. Ang mga manghood. Ang ako ng ka, akong permi kaatubang every day. Um, what was once a blackboard and textbooks now became modules and Zoom meetings and Google Meets. So it transformed my school routine from what was uh, nakasanayan ako since kinder to something new or ka ng online na karun. Sa akong personal life, sad, no? Sa akong personal life, especially sa akong family, it also changed the way um, we dealt with our everyday lives. Before, uh, mag-eat me o dinner, usually outside na. Dili na may makapok sa house. Kaya mag-finish akong class 5 o'clock, mag-finish akong mom sa word, work 5 o'clock din na pa'y travel distance. So ang ending, ang among dinner, kaya narigid na sa either restaurants or kaya ng kalenderya. And koan po, mag-bonding ni ang among yung bonding moments na na put to stop is ang pag-watch sa cinema. So I don't know with you guys kung sa inyong bonding moments in your family. But for us, sa akong family, magtanaw kid may movie anak sa mall. And since wala ka ron, napos ang among bonding lugar. Sa so extracurricular activities, kanang sa mga club or org works, um, part mga ko sa student government sa ona, no? And uh, part anang SGS, kanang mag sa classrooms, mag-meetings, mag-historia o mga different people, karon kina turn down siya a notch. Kay wala naman, di naman may si school gaste. And obviously, sa church po, no? Uh, kaning T180 before, I'm sure ka join pa mo ang T180 before, kay different areas via na T180, uh, yan na T180's Axie, na T180 sa Lourdes, na sa Liceo, anak. So, pati po sa ka ng every Sunday na mag-go, currently, sa TV na lang may gato bang. So it changed my life 180 degrees. And at the start of the pandemic, at the start of this new normal, it felt devastating. It felt um were kind of worried ko kay hala new normal when will it go back? Uh, the question good na permi gin ask kanusa pa ba ni mo balik sa sa una. When will this go back? When when will um everything be fine? Anak bitaw. And because of that feeling, uh, na routine na siya na morag, ang akong mindset ko kay 
kapoy kaya ni ni normal boring na kayo wala na koy kakabuhat stagnant ay or dull kayo ing anak na mga thoughts bitaw and then as time went on as time went by na dumduma na ko ni na term as obos carpe diem do you know what carpe diem means carpe diem na makatel is the day yes is the day Sees the day. Na remember na ko ni siya kay I watched again the movie The Dead Poet Society and na ginat din na Carpe Diem Sees the day. So how is Carpe Diem? Uh, how did Carpe Diem kanang inspired me or made me realize that pandemics or this pandemic can be a start of a new beginnings. So ana as time went by no I realized buwi pa man ko napakoy life every day. And every day is a gift from God. Every day is a blessing from God. That's why it's called the present. Right? Mukaning present ang tawag kay gift siya ang God. So, kung na ay maghatag sa imo o gift, imo bang gamiton? Magpasalamat ba ka? Or imo lang, uh, di lang nimo balibalihon o magreklamo pa ka kay, oh, kamay ra kay ni na gift. Di ba, Dili? Kung hatagan ka gifts sa isa ka tao, makaingang biya ka, thank you kayo, appreciate kinako ni gamitin kinako ni. I'll really appreciate this and I'll use this good. Diba? When someone gives you a gift, you don't complain, you don't um, just set it aside. You open the box or you open the gift and you use it and you become appreciative. So how come na every day is a gift as a blessing from God, how come the first thing that I felt or we felt is to complain, is to say na laay na kayo or boring na kayo ang, yun, ang kaning atong everyday na routine, especially current pandemic. How come? Diba? It's, it's quite uh, sad to think about it. Kay not everyone in this world has, an every, has a present to live. Diba? We are uncertain with our lives. And yet, Instead of being grateful, it's instead of using or seizing this gift kaning called presence ato uh, wisely or we take every opportunity out of it, we tend to complain, fall short, and be lapsed about it now. So that is that is why you know, we're gonna change in akong the way I see every day. Because every day is a gift. Even if feeling na ko routine siya, or if feeling na ko na nara ko sa balay, there's nothing new. It's still a gift from God. It's still um, a blessing from Him. Hence, we should use it wisely and seize the day and make the most out of every opportunity. Now, um, how can we have new beginnings when we're in the middle of the pandemic? We're in the middle of the new normal. I've realized I've come to terms that when we think of beginnings, sa uban, it's something grand or it's something big, diba? But little did we know that new beginnings can be in a micro level. Can agmay lang yun. So for me, new be- new beginnings in the sense of relationships, relationship sa akong um, siblings. Magin na akong highlight na relationships sa akong siblings. Ano new beginning man ang relationships sa akong siblings? Before the pandemic, um, pila pia ta ka-R sa school or ako pila ko ka-R sa school. And ang akong kauban per me sa school, akong classmates, akong schoolmates, akong teachers. I had rin magkita sa akong family pag uli na matulog na. I thought by then, I knew my siblings. Sila Matthew, si Maverick. I thought I knew them. Kay Maverick, kina ako sila. So, kaila ko. But then here now, sa pandemic, no? Personally, meron siya na new beginning. Kay, I got to learn a new side of them. I got to see who they are really in a much more deeper way. So, di ba? Para sa ako, bago na siya or new beginning na siya sa among relationship. Because um, we got to bond much more. Sil- alang-alang, every day bin ako sila kaila from the moment I wake up to the moment I close my eyes. Nagya pun sila there. So, sharo dili mo mag ila-ila. 
So, yung Anna, no, new beginning siya sa, in a sense of relationship sa kong siblings. Because I got to know them even better and new beginnings because I got to spend um, moments and bonds with them. Uh, mag-share ko, si Matthew is grade 2. Mag-online school, si Matthew tapad na ko. Mag-online school, kung mag-online school, kung siya nga no, magtapad mo may si Maverick eh, nasa din niya sa likod. Nasa yung door, nasa yung only in the world. Kaya high school naman yun si Mavi. Si Matthew, kay grade school pa, kailangan pa siya o bantay. My parents are working, so ako magbantay siya. So, multitask lugar bitaw. And because of that, bago siya, new beginning ang among relationship ni Matthew kay mas na-close bitaw ko niya in a sense na Uy, na-realize na ko na maayo din si Matthew ani noon. I did not know back then. And mas na-close me in a sense na na nami inside jokes. Kanang mag, mag-tutor ko siya, mag-tudlo ko siya ang assignment niya. Ako di ang tudloan. Like naning one time nag-ask ko siya sa ako na why does the letter W start with the letter D? And ako po, bitaw, ano, nag-start with letter D ang letter W. So, yung anak dito, na muna siya sa among relationship, na nagbag or like, kanang new beginning, new milestone siya para sa ako. For others, it may seem nothing. It's in a macro, micro level. But for me, it's already something I'm very grateful for. Like, sa relationship na mo ni Mavi, no? mas nakita na ako, Kung unsa gid si Mavi na pagkatao, nakita na ko, mas nakita na ko ayang creativity, yang um, artistic style, siya ang mga drawings. Ako bi itiglimpyo here sa balay niya. Makita na ko ayang mga bond paper na na ay drawings. So ako po marag think na ko na oy kung kailangan di ko drawing, di na di ko kailangan mag-print si Mavi na ko ipadraw per char lang. So ana siya, uh, new beginnings in sense of relationships akong family. Napat siya, new, uh, new beginnings in the sense of hobbies. Hobbies that you wanted to do before but never had a chance to do. Uh, skills that you wanted to improve but never had time to do so. I'm not saying like, that can't keep the time current in your normal because of school, ha? But, um, kanang kaan siya bito? Marag, namas ma-realize ni mo ang um, importance sa new beginnings because of this pandemic. So, balik ta sa ako, Char, balik ta sa ako, ang akong hobby na na-improve good this pandemic is pag-cook or pagluto. Okay? Di naman may kag-eat outside and then napit na din si na si Food Panda. Anang balik-balik rin ito ang restaurant sa Food Panda. So, daghan kay ko recipes or kanang daghan ko dish na na-improve or na-start because of this pandemic. Kaya wala man may choice. Kailangan na yung kaon so kailangan magluto. So, kana na na-improve na, na, na or na-begin na ako akong hobby sa pag-cook. So, kamo, how do you, what hobbies did you, were you able to do or were, were you able to begin this pandemic? Maybe some sa inyo ha kay nag-draw, kanang arts, some sa inyo ka nag-dance. Dili lang nga to gaka-realize no, but these micro things can be a start of uh, kanang can be momentous if we just put time into it. Na magsayo-sayo ka sa TikTok, that's already beginning your dance abilities or dance skills. Diba? So, new beginnings in the sense of my studies. Study, uh, as what I've said, kana ni graduate ko sa and I just started college, freshman ko karon, and I think naputa here ng mga freshman. Um, new beginning na siya. Even if wala ta nakapaso, like graduation, it's still a new beginning for us. And lastly, new beginnings in the sense of opportunities. How can we have opportunities, man? Just na naraman ta sa balay, naraman ta dyan, hey. Carpe diem seize the day. Did you know na because of kaning online, kaning, especially ha, nang mag-read kag articles, na kayo discover na something new? Like, um... For example, um, I found a website that legally gives you the ebooks of every book that you can find. So, pwede na din i-grab na yung opportunity na mag-start ka-greed. Kasi una, mahal ba agad ang physical books. And now, na naka-opportunity to um, read ebooks. 
uh, instead of the physical book. So you grab that opportunity. It's a new beginning for you. So, muna siya no? New beginnings can be uh, in a micro level. You just have to start doing it. So, Nanash, every day is a fresh start. Anak pa si Nike ang yung slogan ka Nike na, just do it. What are the hindrances for us no, to not start things or not to venture out to new beginnings? First, you know, na ako na realize na natin manya habit. Manya habit. Na, unya na. Unya na na style. Uh, Mag-ingon ta na. Mag-study ko 8 o'clock. 7.50 ka nag-ingon si mong self. Mag-study ko ito ko. Uy, 8.03 naman. 9 na lang. 9, 9. Anak na thinking. Kabalo ko na nakaing anak na mo at least once in yung life. ba? So why why would you start later when you can begin now? Say difference. ba? You just delayed it for nothing. You're just fooling yourself. Na, unya na, unya na. You're just fooling yourself and you're falling uh, into this trap of laziness. Diba? And ako po, guilty ko, ano, ng you know, 8 na rin, pag 8 o 3, 9 na lang. Ganun, ganun mo yung na, na maghulat ta, na, ano na time, when we can do it now, we can start it now. Or ka na, mag-ingon ta na, mag-diet ko Monday. Monday, nag-diet ka Monday. Pag-abot sa Monday, next Monday na lang. Diba? Dili ka nang mag, mag-stop ka, mag, sige, tag-delay. Or maghulat pa ta sa New Year para maka-think of things na atong, mabuhat, atong buhaton or atong start Diba? Maghulat pa lang tag New Year para maka-buhaton na ninyo or mag-think mo sa unsinyong buhaton. So why hold back when you can start now? There is no need to wait for signs, events, etc. to do what God wants you to do. So there's no use of delaying, dude. There's no use of um, waiting for things like mag-wait pa kag Christmas, ay ha ka mag ba? Or like, let's say, mag-diet ko ka ng kuana, mga next week. Diba? Dili, dili na siya, wala well, use, Anna. So, just do it or do it now. Muna siya na, do it now. Yeah. So, personally, no, new beginnings, there's also this tendency that we're afraid to start things because we're in this comfort zone or we're in this bubble of ours. I had this friend and she said she wants to improve or she wants to try her debating skills, but she's too scared to do so because she's fluent in English. Now, because she's scared, na dili siya fluency sa English, never na niya na-improve na skill, never siya naka-start o practice, never siya naka-begin o um, try out of debate competitions or debate na practices. Why? Because she was too scared. And I believe kita po, one way or another, there are tendencies in our life that we're too scared to try something. So I have two tips on how to begin things or how to start things. Duha lang yung chaka tips. First is, be fearless and no to excuses. What do you mean fearless? Um, if you want to begin something, if you want to try something, do it. Because you'll never know if you never try. Diba? Next put is, no excuses. Katong manya habits na to, na onya na, onya na. Dili good. I stop na, I try na to little by little na I stop na to na na thinking. Na magingon ta na, onya na, next week na, or mga five minutes lang. Dili kay, why? Na tendency mong good na mahulog ta na na trap. We allow ourselves or, we, al- we allow ourselves to be eaten by those fears, by those excuses. And then it makes us um, stop or it hinders us from achieving what we wanted to do. So, um, for example, uh, ibalik na ko ang akong story sa asset, sa um, college applications. Kihapit naman ang college applications na it's around the corner na. College applications, daghan kig requirements. Maka-overwhelm din kayo for me, na-overwhelm ko. And na-essay, na-portion na essay At first, I felt scared. Scared in a sense na 
di na ko ni gusto is start kay feel na ko di man gapon ko madawat. Ana, saka na ko na reason kapoy man mga next week na ko mag start next week Saturday. Mugi na ko for mig ignan sa ko self. And third dayon na akong reason is um kanang wala na wala na ko give pray over. I believe in the importance of praying over before you start that thing. Why? Because once you pray over something, you're asking for strength, you're asking for guidance, you're asking for wisdom. You're basically putting God first above all else. So, um, thankfully, no, mungin niya kung free ka reasons nga, what to siya na ko na start on time. But thankfully, nakapasa ko, kay, first, I really prayed over it kang God. Na, it, um, first, na ko giasi is strength to do it. Um, the courage to start it and the ability and the strength to be consistent or be able to finish it all throughout it. So, muna siya, no? first, na ko na tip, be fearless and say no to excuses. My second tip is break it down to micro levels. What do you mean micro levels? Um, once we want something, man, good, let's say I want to lose weight. The term na lose weight, dako ra kay siya or big da kay siya. Na nay times na ma-overwhelm ma ta, dili na din, dili na din nato ganahan buhaton. Whereas imo siyang i-break into micro levels, achievable siya and then murag mas maingdan yo bitaw ka kay oy, feel ako productive ko. Feel nako na achieve na ko ni. So magpadayon ko. So unsa example ana? Balik ta sa uh, let's say you want to learn a new language this pandemic. I want to learn French. Let's say you want to learn French. You break it down to micro levels. You first research uh, what are the apps that is available. Well, what are the apps available to learn French? What are some resources you can use? So once na imong i break down into micro levels and how you can achieve that, imo din siyang hinahinayon ug buhat. So na achieve din si step one, na achieve na imo din si step two. So once you break it down to micro levels, mura na din siya mahimo o achievable in every step. Na na siya. Wala, yeah, wala nag-move akong PowerPoint. Wala ko nag-move sa PowerPoint. So, yeah, going back, um, achievable na din siya and mas maingan niyo ka. Mura, ginatrick ito na ito atong mind that we're able to do something little by little. So when we begin things, beginning is just the first step. But wanting something from beginning something are two different things. You say you want to learn a new language, but you're not doing something about it and you're not beginning it. Then it's still considered as nothing. So more na kung maingo, no? uh, first is be fearless and say no to excuses. Second is break it down to micro levels so that more mas achievable siya. So aside from that, no, that every day is a fresh start, we should also have this joy when we start new beginnings. Joy in beginnings. I believe in the importance of optimism. Optimism. Because once uh, optimistic ka and you're open to these opportunities, uh, mas easier siya buhaton, mas light ang imong paminaw. Whereas mag-ingat ka, ka na, murag, bisod man kay ni buhaton, Lisod kini buhaton. So, ang imo sang ting, ang imo sang action, dili na din mo mabuhat ki. Tan-aw nimo lisod naman siya. Dili na din mo ma um ana, dili na din mo siya mabigyan. Dili na din ka start ana kay lisod naman nimo tan-aw. So, there is always joy. We should always kana find joy in beginnings. And there's all uh it always takes courage not to start something. Like what I said kanina. Uh sometimes we're too scared to begin. Because it's either without or anxiety or maybe attacks and maybe it takes courage and prayer and strength. Good na siya. So yes, this pandemic na so mana siya ang new beginnings. We can always begin some things, even if it's so micro, even if it's so small. It's still considered as a new beginning. Aside from that, in this pandemic no. Being productive or being fruitful is quite difficult to achieve. Is it me? Or I think kita tana. It's it's quite difficult. Mas difficult siya buhaton na maging fruitful, na maging productive. Kay, nga naman, 
na ata sa na ramit sa birta sa balay ano tung thinking online na man tanan ka di ba online na maging ana kung thinking na ramit sa balay what's the point of being productive now starting something or beginning something something is just the first step the next step is being consistent and turning these beginnings into habits so how do I remain fruitful or how to can how to remain fruitful and productive despite being in the new normal setting now i have like mantana people no na i different ways but i find it um i find scheduling and planning ahead the first steps yeah, scheduling and planning ahead as the key or kanang key ingredients to becoming productive or fruitful there are lots of ways to schedule or plan things There are lots of apps na. There's no reason why you can't plan. If you say na dili kaganahan mag pen and paper, di ka magsalat sa notebook, use your phone. If di kaganahan, kay wala kay app sa phone, download an app. If dili pagid kaganahan, make an alarm sa imong clock. Yan ang sa imong phone, dito di man naman ay clock, then you make an alarm. Again, balik ta sa akong tips ganina, say no to excuses. Mugyan na siya, no to excuses. So there's a lot of things. You, for me, scheduling and planning ahead is the key or kind of very vital role to become productive because one, mag-guide ka. Nakay guide on what to do. Dili ka mag-cram. And third point is, dili ka ma-overwhelm. So, um, ako ga-use ko o na may apps, na may Google Calendar. So there, Muna na siya, i-plan na niyo ahead. Especially us students. Na ang online current is magpatong-patong ang assignment. And I know that feeling. Number of, ah, tagad ka assignment. Di ba? Kana na feeling. So if you schedule it out, if you plan it ahead, mas ma-organize yung, yung feeling. Organized and mas nakay sense of what you're doing. Second is having plan Bs. Backup plans. Why? We don't control everything. We can't control everything. But having plan Bs allows you to stay on track, allows you to um, not be derailed, and it also kanang dili ka makahimog excuse. Example, if imong plan karon is mag-study ani na time period, pero nag-brown out, walay koryente or walay internet, so dili ka kagamit sa laptop. If you have a plan B, let's say imong plan B, kay okay, mag- kanang i-review na ko akong previews na gipang sulat or giprint ni mo daan sa so dili ka kailangan og laptop then you can still stay on track let's say um ako kay gakok man ko let's say na uy nahutdan di ay mi ani na ingredient unsa kong plan B kay lisod pud no dili nimo padayon nun og cook or dili ka dili na lang nimo mano na, na dish so always have plan B sometimes It's even better if you have plan Cs. There's nothing wrong with being sure. There's nothing wrong with being ready. More girl scout na thinking or boy scout na thinking. So muna siya. First two, scheduling and having plan Bs. Third is have a symbolic app. It's a nice symbolic app. Now, sa ako, I don't know, but na ko yung mga ilha na tao, dili ko magpadungog-dungog din ha. Pero because of the pandemic, dili na sila always or every day gakaligo. Mga after, every other day na sila gakaligo, ana. And there's nothing wrong with that as long as hygiene, guys. <laughs> as long as okay rin mo. Pero ako gin na person, um, symbolic para, symbolic act ng mag-take a bath sa ako. Kay, especially sa morning, Okay, you're stripping away your previous self or your yesterday self. You're stripping away your thoughts from yesterday. You're stripping away your acts from yesterday, from your everything from the past. Okay, yesterday is still considered as the past, even though it, it's fresh. And once maligo ka, it's like you're stripping it away. And it's a sign for me or it's a symbolic app for me that, okay, it's a fresh start. I'm not my past self. It's not yesterday, but today is a new day. It's something fresh. So, ing ana na siya para sa ako, no? Murag, um, mahimo na din siya o switch. Murag, mag, na, murag siya mode na, okay, productive mode on, new beginning mode on. 
Yeah. I don't know about you, but sin lahi ang inyong act. Like, for example, if kamo sa una sa physical class, sa mga girls here, na before gid mag-start ang class, especially akong friends, ha, before gid mag-start ang class, kaya mag-lip tint na sila. Before mag-start ang class, mag-lip tint na sila. Inaanad na na sila na before mag-start ang class, mag-lip tint. Then do it now. Muna lang na imong i-do karon or i-act karon. Not because gusto ka mag-lip tint sa balay, but because more imong act better na kay symbolic act na imong area di imong self imong area di imong like thinking imong body na it's class time or it's something new it's a fresh day if sa una ka nang anad ka na mag mag let's say mag cough up mag make up before mag start ang day and karon since nara ka sa balay mag wala na na kay reese ay imong thinking kay wala kay reason mag make up I encourage you to do makeup if it if that means na imong thinking kay you're on a productive mode or you're in a work mode or it's a sign na it's something new it's a fresh day it's a new day any act lang yun kay for me it's taking a bath yun every morning or washing my face so marshag symbol symbolic aksha that you're setting your mind to be productive you're setting my your mind na it's not yesterday it's not the any other day it's a new day it's something new. So na put kay friend no na um <laughs> ako gana maligo ang iyaha is kanang magbutang siya ice sa yang face i ice na yang face kay sa so, una katong physical pa among class because of the oil sa kanang jeep ni mag break out siya that's why magput siya ice daw sa yang face kay makawalag pimple pero since na siya sa balay dili na siya gaput ana and moral because of that kay dili niya feel bitaw na nag-class the eye. So, I told her na, kung sa'yo yung ginabuhat sa una na makafeel ka na mag-class na. So, siya magbutang kong eyes kada buntag before kumuha to school. Kumuha na na. Before ka mag-start sa'yo yung class, yun ang pagbutang kong eyes sa'yo yung face. Kaya mara na siya symbolic. Mara siya, yeah, muna akong ganyan, mara siya symbolic act. Now, you're stripping away your previous self and, and you're putting or you're turning on the switch that this is something new at every day is a fresh start and you're being productive. So, ang ako ding last na ingan is rewards. Having a reward. Uh, ako, believer din ko anong na-price or na-rewards. Kaya it motivates you to finish the task. It, mo it motivates you to accomplish something. Because you're looking at, marabitag, set your eyes on the prize. Ano? For example, uh, Three days ago, I had a 36-page na ang font is 9 and back-to-back na reading. Di ba? 36-page back-to-back, 9 ang font. Kinsa hindi lang mag-ingan na, oh my God, gusto na ko pag-butang, pag-post at to sa prop, read pages, ani-ani, and then pag-tanaw na ako, kay gagmay, kay font. Mara na gusto na rin kumubak out. Gusto na ko hindi na ko unya na ni. Ana, nanasa na nan, nanasa na unya na ni kinahadlok na ko na intimidate na ko ana. But ana ko sa kwasal, okay? I broke it down to micro levels again. Hinay-hinay lang kanina day 5 pages or butang na to 3 pages. Micro levels. Ugma na sad another 3 pages. Nan akong gi reward, akong ingon sa kwasal. If I finish the first chapter, um I'll reward myself with two episodes of this series. Ah. So since ako ang reward ako sa ako gibutang sa ako head na ako reward. Kumano na ako ning isa ka chapter. So since na reward, ma-motivate and kana maging mas productive. Or kita mo anang sa Facebook na nag-trending na nashay books o nya na ay chocolates after, uh, in between pages. Kay para ko mahumana niya ang aning specific range of pages. Pag open niya kay na chocolate, so kanon niya chocolate. Marag ang iyang reward kay chocolate siyang self. So, those little things, good guys, can be life-changing. Life-changing siya. So, ako, I, am, I remain productive by these four things. I schedule plan, have plan Bs. I have the symbolic app and my rewards. Um, maybe lahi-lahi ta, but that's what I do to remain fruitful or to remain um, productive despite this pandemic, despite this new normal. 
Now, I, I think, I believe I've jumbled a lot of words. I've said a lot of insights na. So I'll have this recap. Don't use the pandemic as an excuse to hinder you from achieving or beginning something. Dili ginanto siya gamitin as excuse. Just because nag-pandemic, dili na lugar din ka magtarong sa school. Or just because pandemic, dili na din ka mag-learn o new something. No, it's not an excuse, guys. It's never. It was never an excuse. The only thing that the pandemic has limited us as students is to go out. And probably another things, but not everything. Kay, what I've noticed, Mangyud, and I myself well, experienced this since the beginning of pandemic, it seems like everything is lost. It seems like everything is dull. Everything is boring. Everything, it seems like every day is nothing. Diba? Kay, because lang dilit taka gawas. No, we need, we need, we never, uh, we should never use it as an excuse. Third, uh, second is micro things can be new beginnings too. So wrong spelling, ako too, so ayaw na mind. But micro beginnings can be, uh, micro things can be new beginnings too. So unsa na siya na micro things? Katong, para sa akong example ganina, relationships with your family, with your siblings, you know. It can be a new beginning. Who knows the ay na na amoy talent mag-iksuo ng pwede na din mo mag-new beginning as duet or, or, or trio na singing group. You never know. Um, another micro thing is, let's say, your hobbies. Na wala ni mo na try before, imong i-try karon. So third is carpe diem. Seize the day or make the most out of everything because every day is a gift from God. And kung, since gift na nato ni ka, dili na to basta basta hon. We should um, treat it with an, a grateful heart and kanang, we should make the most out of it. So, more na siya, three. So, this verse um, really inspired me deeply sa kaning new beginnings or kaning pag-change sa kong, uh, nag-change sa kong perspective sa pandemic, sa new normal. Second Corinthians 4, 16 to 18, Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we're wasting away, yet inwardly we're being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an external glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. So being renewed day by day. And um, even Asha, though outwardly we are wasting away, if feeling not physically boring, siya, but we should not yet let it affect our inward selves or atong spiritual selves. So, kani siya, marag muni siya ang akong highlight verse sa kong pandemic. No? God continually makes us new. Every moment of every day brings a fre- fresh beginning. Every moment of every day brings a fresh beginning. Every minute, every second of our lives is a new beginning. So, i-highlight kid na ko that every day is a gift from God. If you feel like you're spiraling down again this pandemic, you think or you, you remind yourselves every day is a gift from God. Every day is a blessing from God. I Then make the most out of it and be grateful for it. Because you never know, Pia. Like, um, like, karon daghana kaayo, dili maka wake up. Diba? And you're here awake and alive and well. That's already a big, big blessing, guys. That's already something to be very, very grateful for. So that would be all. Thank you so much for listening. 